we did see more on strings but let's revisit strings now and start with declaring a variable s as let's say coffee and then t will be what goes good with coffee maybe cake or better even bread i want something long uh, a word <laughs> okay so uh, you all know what happens when i print s i'll be printing coffee when i print t i'll be printing bread correct coffee and bread and as we discussed when we print s plus t it will concatenate that's probably a new word for you all it will concatenate which means it will place one next to the other and display coffee bread all right fine now let me take you all to one level deep into strings so the next level would be to understand what will happen if i were to simply say s of 0 even this we discussed it will show you the first letter of s s of 1 second letter of s if i were to say s of 2 third letter of s and so on right but then what i did not tell you people is that if you specify s of 1 here and then 3 here it does something else now let's see what it does it is showing of what exactly is it doing it is taking the it is starting from the first number one s of one it is starting and going up to two it doesn't go up to three it goes one less okay s of zero is c s of one is o uh, right s of one is o and s of two is f Okay, so it starts from S of 1 and displays this. What if I said 5 here? It will start from 1, S of 1, 2, 3, 4. It should display so much. Okay, you may be wondering why doesn't it dis go up to 5? That only makes sense for it to go up to 5. For some reason, Python is created this way. Okay, there will be many such questions in your mind. Why? Why did Python do it this way? The answer invariably is always uh, it was their choice. There was probably some reason uh, that we may not know today or maybe you can Google it up and you may know why exactly they have done it like this. Okay, but by the way, there are very nice reasons why Python starts with zero. So does your C language. Okay, anything before C with the best of my knowledge would always start with one. The list would start with one. The string would start with 1. You would refer it as S of 1 for C. But in Python, you start with S of 0 for the first letter. So what will this output? This should output start from 1, go up to 5 minus 1, which is S of 4. This should be the output. Let us see if my, yes, my prediction is right. It goes up to 5. If you, let's say, start from 3 and go up to 5, what will happen? 0, 1, 2, 3 and go up to 5 is four, 5 minus which is 4 fe should be displayed that is indeed displayed here right so you sort of you can slice the strings as you can see right this is called string slicing okay so let me go ahead and then play around a little more with the uh, with these two words i said s plus t will give you concatenation as explained before s minus t will throw up an error because it has no clue what to do with subtraction of two strings all right now to put everything in context i will type a nice piece of code and i let you think on what exactly will this output what is s s is a string 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and what is a a is s of 0 Okay, so what am I trying to do here? You probably are confused. You always type something on the right side which is assigned to the left side. Right? You never put another variable here on the left side. This is indeed okay. You can put whatever you want on the right side. Its value gets assigned to the left side. Okay? You, it will take some time for you to get used to it. But commonsensically speaking, A is now assigned S of 0 which you would have guessed is this 0. B will be assigned S of 1, which you would have guessed is 1. Okay. Now, when I say print A and then print B, right, you will see the obvious happen here. 
okay it's taking some time but um, what do you expect to see you will you will see the value of uh, this is a usual problem with uh, replit i don't want to um, uh, you know edit this part but i want you all to take this warning message that it, it if it so happens that it says fail to connect it means there's some problem with your internet you may have to wait for a second and then it gets connected you see the output here zero and one perfect if i were to say s of let's say four and uh, seven okay it will say four and seven print a s of four is zero one two three four. is indeed four itself okay the number four so it will say this now can you all guess what will the output of this be a plus b do you expect it to say 11 let me see i i would expect as a layman as a as a person who is new to programming i would expect this to be 4 plus 7 11 but if you have watched carefully from what we were discussing a minute before you will say no it will not be 11 so let's see what the answer is as i execute it i see it is 47 4 plus 7 is 47 but why on earth would it say 47 that is because as you can see a here is actually a string a one letter string a character right b is another string plus understands that it should take this string and this string and place them one next to the other the concatenation as i have been talking to you people about right it will not see them as numbers unfortunately and I've been telling you people, computer does exactly what you instruct the computer to do. It, it doesn't have the intelligence to add things up if they are numbers, right? So what do we do to make these, uh, make 4 plus 7 equals 11 here? That's going to be pretty simple. All you need to do is when you say a equals s of 4, you must say convert that to an integer. When you say b equals s of 7, you must say convert that to an integer okay a very simple trick and now finally when you say print it will say 4 plus 7 simply because the plus here is acting on an integer a and an integer b unlike before where both of them were strings if they are strings plus c addition of strings means place them one next to the other when you put plus between two numbers it means do addition the old school um, style okay uh, the, whatever you were doing in your school 7 plus 4 was 11 but if there are strings 7 plus 4 will be 7 4 placed next to each other what's the moral of the story the moral of the story is the way your computer sees things depends on how you store them and computer stores in its own in its own way unless or otherwise specified you may have to specify in what format you want this to be stored just so that you can do the necessary operations on it i hope things are clear if not you may have to practice a, a, a little bit on what i um, said just now i will i will uh, now try to give you a small program uh, and i leave it to you people to figure out what is the answer for this code what if i said a equals s of 3 and b equals s of 8 and i will print um let's say i'll say n equals a plus b and then convert this to int okay convert this to int and then i'll print n what will be the output the output is 38 as expected correct um but if i were to put int here and an int here what's the output i'll remove the int here okay what's the output the output is 11 right simply removing the int here will give you some output and retaining the int there okay and then the output will be something else right so you can you can redo this code all by yourself and try to understand the motivation for data types